Welcome to our hearing moment here. Today, I'm Dr. Marianne Gilbert, and I'm gonna to talk to you about what happens as our ears get older. I hate to tell you this, folks. I'm not getting any younger, and neither are you. And as we age, our ears also begin to age. But what's really happening to us? Well, let's start with the fact that hearing happens in our brain, not in our ears. Our ears simply pick up the sound and send the message up to the brain. What happens? The first thing that's going on is our hearing slows down. You know, I don't run as fast as I did when I was 20, and I don't hear as fast as I used to. So when I go into the restaurant and that cute little 20-year-old walks up and says, hello, my name is, I'm gonna be your server today and our specials are, I feel like they're talking some foreign language. We just can't hear that fast anymore. So we do better when people speak slowly and clearly. And you're able to tell your grandchildren and your family, you'll hear them fine if you just slow down a little bit. The second thing that's going on is our brain can't do as many things at one time. It used to be that we were master jugglers. We could do four or five things at one time and our brain could keep it all straight. Now, for you gentlemen, if you're watching the ball game, you are not gonna hear your wife ask you if you want a roast beef sandwich. For you women, if you're busy crocheting or you're reading a book, you're not gonna hear somebody ask you a question either. Our brain can only do one thing at a time. So when I am focusing on the TV, that's all I can hear. I know a voice calls to me, but I can't understand it. Then I say what or huh, and my spouse has to repeat. And then they get angry for repeating. Simple way to get around that is if you get in the habit of calling each other's name before you talk. That way, my, wife, my spouse calls me from the kitchen asking me a question. They go, Mary Ann, and a red flag goes off. My brain says, stop watching the ball game, stop watching TV, stop reading, pay attention, that's my spouse. So now I shift my brain to listening and I'll hear and understand what they say. Another thing that's very frustrating for all of us is when we go to noisy restaurants, it's really difficult to hear and understand the conversation at the table. Again, when we were young, we used to have a whole bunch of noise filters built into our auditory system. They've all got big holes in them now, and all that sound comes in, and it all goes to our brain, where our brain has to sort through and find the one voice we want to listen to and ignore all the background noise. So when we can find a quieter restaurant or a quieter area to sit in the restaurant near the wall or near a corner and away from noise sources, we generally do a whole lot better. The last thing that we want to talk about today is our ears. Our hearing system becomes weaker. Most of the time, that weakness happens in the high pitch area of our hearing. We have low pitch, mid pitch, high pitch. Generally, the low pitch will stay strong. That's where we get loudness. The high pitches get weak. That's what gives us clarity. So we frequently notice that we hear people talking, but they're just not clear. The clarity is what goes off. Thanks so much for joining us today. If you like this video and are interested in seeing more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Leave a comment below on some topics you might be interested in hearing about and we will see you next time. Mm -hmm.